Hi everyone, welcome back to Spring Web Flux Essentials and let's create the save method. So inside the anime controller, just add one simple post mapping. This post mapping will return a response status HTTP status created when we return. And here we are going to return a mono anime. So this is up to you what we are going to return once you save it. Do you want to return like only the ID or only the, the entire attribute or even uh, no content? So I think the most important thing, as I said in the Spring Boot Essentials training, is for you to keep consistency. And uh, let's add here some add valid because I want this request body to be validated in the domain. Remember that we add this not null and not empty. So Spring will do that check for us and we are going to test that. Anime, anime. And here we are going to return an anime service dot save sending this uh, anime. So we don't have this, this uh, save method there. You can just create the method inside the anime service class. So the here it's pretty simple we just have to return anime repository dot save send this anime okay uh let's start the application and for the client i will use uh, postman so this is exactly the same one uh, i used in the spring boot essentials training we have these post enemies we can execute the get enemies we will see the value that we have here exactly like we saw and and here and now to post so let's create one called overlord and uh, in d35 if we get we get the new value so this is the save Maybe we can do the, oh, let's check if we have that validation working. Let's uh, send empty value. Okay, so we do get uh, a bad request. This is what we are looking for because the field cannot be empty. So we could fix this uh, message. Yeah, but for now, you know the that the concept works. Okay, so this is the save. Maybe we can also create here the the update. It's pretty similar. We can copy this. Uh, well, we can use this one because the save will update if you send an an ID. So let's copy here inside the anime controller. Copy this entire one, and here we are going to update. So the update will work in, the, in a similar way. So, but instead of using post mapping, we are going to use put mapping, and the status will be no content because once you update, well, you you should get only the the status, and this will be a mono void. Same thing, valid request body enemy enemy, and here. We can change the method to update because there is a couple of things that we have to do here. So when we are doing an update, we have to find to see if the enemy exists. Otherwise, there is a chance that they are sending an invalid enemy. So what happens if I try to update and I don't have the, that enemy in my database? It will just uh, create if we don't do the, the check. So we can uh, do a couple of things here. We have the find by ID. That's going to return an error if we don't have anything. So let's just do this. Find by ID. We are going to use anime.getID. And then we are going to map this anime that we found in the database. Which is uh, naming is quite difficult. Anime found. And then we can just replace the ID that we have in this one because the, that's the behavior of the put request. You just update the entire object 
so I will get this enemy I will uh, set actually I will use this width because it's going to return the entire object enemy found hot get ID and then uh, let's continue we are going to use flat map why because now we are going to save and in repository save and then empty mono not empty so what I'm doing here I have the enemy coming from the request I find that enemy in the database make sure if it's not there it will return 404 then I get this ID just to make sure uh, we could technically ignore if uh, if we want then I just get this ID and then I call this uh, animal repository dot save sending the one that's returned being returned from here so when we do this the with ID if you go inside if you check here the documentation you see that is returning the entire object but with the the value that we have so this is a, a way that Lombok has to keep this object immutable so we get this one so this animate the one that we have here but with all the new values and make sure that the ID is the one that we found then we call save and then we return empty so we can uh, test this we have anime controller update let's just uh, restart the application And here uh, we are going to the put request. I will use uh, ID 35 is the overlord, but I will use overlord 2 this time. Actually, I will not send this one. Let's see if it will validate. Okay, bad request. This is what we were looking for. Now I will skip the ID. Okay, internal error. Yeah, we should check if the the idea actually exists well we can do that in the the next video let's just try this one with an id that does not exist okay 404 this is the one that we were expecting now let's try to update hit send 204 no content get and we have the value updated Okay, so this is what we were looking for in this video, let's continue in the next one, see you there, bye!